all compared the stories to NXT. You, want, can, you can NXT, the you can tell all the stories the you, want. you can get. It's you can terrible. get all the five star matches you want, but at the end of the day, this is a business. Yeah. And Show all me the next time game. Roman Reigns gets a five star match and then come back to me, bud. The, but, when Roman Reigns can pull off a five star match, you know what Roman Reigns did? Nothing. Who, who cares? Okay, you can nothing. have your five star match. For, you can have your five star match for twenty people, or you can sell out football stadiums. What are you gonna do? <laughs> you can't compare it to that. What are you gonna do? You're a yes, you silly can. Here, this man. is a business. No, this is a business. This is a Roman, business. You come back and Roman Reigns and Roman Reigns Brock is here to make money. It's like match. Donnie Gargano isn't doing anything for free. It's not you... all about the money, and I never talked about the money. I'm talking about the booking and the storytelling. It's way better in NXT than the main roster. But if main it was so much better trash. than the main roster, it would be making money, and it's no, it's not. Money. You know why? It's not. It's not making money. They're only catering. It's only the WWE is only making money. The Mirage is only making money is because the people that watch the 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 product and, and accept mediocrity for some reason overpower the ones that actually see the product for what it is and actually know when they're watching a good product than than they, when they're actually watching a good product. It's, it's in general. So so you're having such a great show that nobody's watching. And it's losing money. That makes a lot no of fucking one's sense. Watching. You're, you're not making any sense. You think that no one's watching when clearly there is a bigger following than you think there is. You're, you're so brainwashed into the main roster that y- you think that no one watches anything else but the main roster. You need to literally wake up sunshine and, and smell the coffee because people are watching more NXT than there ever were. They're selling more house shows now than they ever were. And the NXT takeovers that are before every single pay-per-view that they are on always surpass the pay-per-view after. Yeah, they, they surpass in five Good matches, booking and storytelling, arena. what I've been fucking saying for the last half hour. NXT knows how to tell a story and knows how to book a show, something the main roster hasn't done in who knows how fucking long. So, so they can they can tell their stories. You guys can sit there and two-sweet each other and have your five-star matches, but no one's making any money. You guys can sit here and talk about how great it is, but no one's watching. They can't even sell out their arenas, but hey, that you know what? The main roster is the problem. It is. It's it is. terrible. Okay. So it's if it's a problem, then what am I doing on the show? What do you guys want to talk about it for? I, it, I don't know. Then I then there's no point in me being here. You guys can just talk your NXT all day, talk about how great it is, and you know, everyone else can go make their money. Well fine, maybe we will. And then there's no point in me being here. Fine. Then leave. I don't I don't care. If you don't want to tell you about the main roster, then leave. Alright. Then you know what it, it's fine. I'll leave. You guys can have your little too sweet crew going on. Yeah, you know, and, we, we enjoy, will. enjoy, we'll, enjoy. We'll talk about a good enjoy product. NXT. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk about a good product. That's okay. You can yeah. leave. Great. All right. Well, Brian's gone. Sorry, Michael. You had to uh, enjoy that. Post bar. Top 10. Top 10. Countdown. All right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we'll start off. Okay, get your fingers ready. And we're going to go in five. Oh, no, five. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Wait, what the hell? That is right. You have all just been swerved. If you don't know what I mean, I would love for all of you to welcome back to the show, formerly known as the main event Maharaja, now known as NXB, Brian. What is going on, bro? <laughs> what up, guys? 
I would love to say it's good to be back, but the first thing I see is a naked Michael Chow, and I'm not sure I want to be here anymore. Wait, what the heck is going on here? <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> I'm sorry, Michael. I, did, I couldn't tell you, but we have swerved you all. And you too, Michael. I'm sorry. We had to include you in the swerve, but the whole thing was a joke. It was a work. We it was were tired a work. Of, we were tired of WWE's creative. We wanted to show Michael his creative sucked, so we did our own creative genius. What the heck is this? I'm sorry, Are Michael. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm doing this live on the air. I'm sorry, Michael. We're not sorry, kidding Michael. you. Wow. Just, that whole oh argument was a joke. God. We we planned that. Me and Brian planned that argument. <laughs> Oh, Brandy's lost because you had to have been watching the show every week, Brandy, to know what's going on. Anyways, yeah, <laughs> it was a work. Michael, to all you listeners out there, it was a work. It was a work. That was, it was a work. A very good work. A very convincing a... work because we caught Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, you I, know, but I Michael thought... was messaging me after, like, making sure I was okay for weeks. Like, he was, like, really worried about me. <laughs> Michael, um, I'm sorry. I was I like... You know, Michael was... I, Calling or texting me, messaging me, and I just didn't. I I couldn't. I didn't want him to uh, head over to Dave Meltzer and and leak it to the sheets. So I, I just want to apologize. Wow. Michael. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. I'm sorry, Michael. You and a lot of people that are shocked in the chat right now. Yep, yeah, we got you. Try try to bring some excitement to the podcast, and there you go. There's one thing <laughs> or one step in the uh, there's people or people power. People power. It will, if I can be completely honest, well, at least number one, this has been some of the best excitement that's come from wrestling <laughs> over the last week. I mean, forget the main roster. This has been some pretty good booking. And number two, at least we got Brian off for one show. So, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, Michael. It wow. was a mix. If you guys that do know, you saw our Cover big up. giant argument between our argument, quote unquote, between me and Brian, Brian, uh, we we that was hard to do, Mike. You have no idea how hard it was for me and Brian to, especially Brian, to defend the main roster. And yes, guys, for you guys that don't know out there, Brian is one hundred percent on our side. By the way, 